Right, I think if you set out on the journey, and it is a journey, it's not a, not a short-term thing to be a best employer, there's probably three, three things that I'd suggest. Firstly, be emotionally committed to it. Um, don't just do it because you think it's rationally the right thing, I think you have to really want it emotionally. Secondly, find a way that works for your organisation that's authentic for you and authentic for the organisation because I don't think there's a single formula that works right across the board. And I think the next thing to do is hire a decent HR person to help you because it's not everybody's cup of tea um, and you need to be absolutely in, in tune with your head of HR when you're going about this thing. A people first culture, making sure that we're putting our people first um, so that we can ensure that they are helping us deliver the service that we want to our customers and our customers are then going to reward us with ongoing business and loyalty. So making sure that our people are always first, that our people are happy is absolutely the first essential thing um, to being a best employer. The second one would be open and two-way communication. So communication is absolutely key. It used to be treat people how you want to be treated but now it's evolving to be treat people how they want to be treated, making sure that we have that communication and that feedback from our employees on what do they want, what's going to make this a better place to work. Um, those are going to be the key things with that communication and feedback in us continuing on our journey to be a best employer. The third thing would be promoting from within. And the reason I say that is because when we promote from within, those employees have grown up with our culture. They know what our culture is, putting people first, having that engagement as top of mind. Um, then that they know how to live that when they move into a leadership role. They know that this is the way that we lead our people. This is the way we engage our people. So those would be my top three tips um, for anybody that wants to be a best employer. Well, I think in order to undertake uh, best employers as a program, I mean, I think you've got to be really genuinely committed to it. Like if you really want to get high engagement, which means you really want to help people, uh, you know, voluntarily give a lot more of themselves and really commit to the organisation and really feel like they're part of something special, then it has to be a lot more than just being a, a sort of a skin deep exercise. Like you've really got to go into it very deeply and very thoroughly, think about your culture, think about the environment you want, think about the behaviours you're going to reward, really make sure you've got the right people managers, you know, weed out people that are putting, you know, holes in your bucket in terms of people that have got the wrong behaviours or aren't being transparent or aren't showing high trust, for example. And, you know, it takes time and it's a journey. And I think it's something that we've been working at, you know, over a number of years. And we're definitely starting to see the dividends now in terms of business results. I would say do it for the right reasons. Uh, for, for our organisation, it's all about really trying to have an engaged workforce because life's too short. 40 or 50 hours a week to come to work every day and not be happy and not be the best that you can be um, would be a pretty sad life. So we go into it with the belief that as leaders we can make a real difference to their, um, to their lives and that's important to us. We want to be in a fun and happy environment so therefore understanding that you've got to work on it you actually have to take it seriously. You've got to go in and, and use information to improve. So we entered knowing we needed to use a survey to help us know what we were good at and what we weren't so good at to really try to improve. Yeah, the things I would share about being a best employer are pretty simple actually. I think first of all you've got to start off by being really committed. If you go out there and talk about raising engagement and becoming a best employer, your, your team probably falls into two groups. There's half that believe you or want to believe you and half that don't. Either way, if you don't front up and follow through on what you say, you're going to end up with much less engaged people than you had in, in the first place. The second thing I'd offer up is empowerment. Uh, one thing we do in our model is to make sure that we get our teams to generate what makes the difference for them around engagement and then they come back and they ask the executives we want A, B, C, D to implement the engagement action plan for the year. So a very, very devolved way of doing it. And the third thing is to remind people that all the good stuff that we do or the stuff we try to do well and don't do so well, how it links back to engagement. Because sometimes in the hurly-burly of the day when things are happening, lots of changes taking place, people understandably don't always realise that what you're actually doing is in response to what they pointed out to you a year ago in an engagement survey. So sometimes you have to be much more explicit around, we're doing this around personal development because you asked us to do that a year ago. So that's what I would share with people, is make sure that you are really committed for the long term, make sure that you empower your people to come up with what matters to them, 
and then make sure whatever you do that you link your big actions that improve employee commitment back to what people ask you to do.